All right, from that great story from the Salvation Army to, and I've been planning on this interview for a long time, so, so work with me here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this young man is the winner of the 2012 Ironman World Champion. He's regarded as one of the world's premier Ironman swimmers. The bottom line is, as we sit here at this moment, this is the greatest athlete in the world. <laughs> Pete Jacobs is here. Good morning. Good morning. All right, am I embarrassing you? <laughs> no, no, you know, I won't say that myself, but if someone else wants to call me the greatest athlete at the moment, I'm happy with that. <laughs> it, it's unusual for a younger guy to win the Ironman based on the history of the sport. You've got to swim 2.4 miles, you've got to ride 112 miles, you've got to do a full marathon, but for some reason it is a, a sport dominated by guys kind of pushing their late 30s. You're only 31. How did this happen this year? Um, because I've been doing the sport for so long. Um, I've been a professional Ironman triathlete for eight years now and uh, it's been a huge learning curve. And, um, but time, persistence and just focus has um, finally paid off. But also just as you get older, you get better at burning fat and being an endurance athlete. And so but you get smarter about how to train also. So, so many factors go into just trying to get it right for the you know, eight and a bit hours of racing that um, that's what it all came down to. Let's talk about this because people have seen the, uh, they've seen the Ironman TV show Right, and they do such a great job of making it dramatic about the age groupers or the amateur athletes, but it's never really covered, in my opinion, with, with, the, with the focus being on the pros, the guys who are really going for the victory. Take us through the day. Um, what, what was going on in the swim? I mean, you get us started as you get into the water. Are you thinking, I'm going to win this thing? Or, I mean, I guess you're, <laughs> as you're trying to win, obviously, right? I mean... Yeah, confidence is what it's all about. And um, just being confident and just trying to be in control all day long. So not go too hard at the start of the swim and not, not burn too many calories at the start. But and just swimming, pace yourself. Swimming is really your strength, right? So did you want to go, did you want to go beat everybody up on the swim or, or you had a game plan, obviously, take it easy? Yeah, um, I've realized that, you know, you can't really win it on the swim. You know, you've got to win it on the bike and the run. And uh, so this time I was very much in control and just took it really easy at the start. I actually had one of my easiest swims I've ever had because I just, this year I was more confident. So I just took it easy, sat behind people's feet and conserved as much energy as I could in the swim. You, you transition quickly and that you talk about learning curves. I mean, learning how to properly go from the swim to the bike and make it happen as efficiently and as fast as you can. You get out on the bike and the word was that this is one of the toughest bike rides in the last, let's say, 10 years. The winds were howling. How bad was the bike ride? Um, one thing about the winds, like when you feel good, they're not as bad as when you feel tired, they really hurt you. So I was feeling good on the bike this year and uh, I rode really well, And um, but they were tough. You know, just the crosswinds, you've got to hold on and use so much more, if you have so many more muscles just to hold upright on the bike. So the wind uh, hits the front wheel, the, the deep rim wheels and, uh, you know, blows you all over the place. You where, can't kind of take a drink as often. When you came off the bike, where were you in the race? Second place. So big difference. Two, three years ago, I went from 30 seconds to eight. Last year, I went from 12th to second. So this year, when I got off the bike in second place already, I was, I was pretty, pretty happy about that. And how far behind the leader were you at that time? It was eight and a half minutes. He's eight and a half minutes ahead of you. And who is that? Uh, Marina Voanaka. And okay. uh, he had the world record at one point this year of seven hours, 45 minutes, a, a different course. Insane. Insane. So he can run too. He's a good athlete. So, so. You're, you're eight and a half minutes back and are you having to do a lot of thinking like how am I going to catch him or do you just go? Um, not a lot of thinking. I was trying to stay in control and not go too hard because um, you know if you go too hard at the start of a marathon you, you'd really do slow down later. So I tried to stay in control but I was getting splits constantly from everybody in the crowd. You know there's people a were lot telling of people you how there. Far, and, and at what point yeah. do you catch him? How, how long does it take you to get to the eight and a half minutes? Um, it, well at about 17 kilometers, about 10 miles. I'd only made up three minutes, so I was starting to do the sums that maybe I won't get him. But then, he within started. about three kilometers, I caught him. He, uh, he started walking, he you know, really hurt bad and ended up going home in the back of an ambulance. Oh man, and, and you won this Ironman, this world championship this year, kind of going away. As I saw the end of it, you were still strong. You were, you were, it looked anyway like you were <clears> still <throat> feeling pretty good. Yeah, uh, it was awesome to go from about the halfway point on the, on the run 
to he he pretty much disappeared and I had five minutes over the next group of guys so from that point all I needed to do was just game of survival and just take my time through the aid stations you know walk through the aid stations get ice and fluid and everything I needed and um, and then just you know relax not go too hard 20 seconds to go real quick how has life changed since you've become the Ironman world champion um, well I get to do this sort of stuff uh, which I did a little bit of beforehand, but now it's more of the same and I just enjoy the opportunity to, to a, a greater platform to talk to everybody and, uh, and try and share my experiences and, and, uh, and life lessons. And I see you're wearing the Asics t-shirt. I love those shoes. <laughs> and you, you were wearing those things to victory. Absolutely. Um, you know, they're, they're an awesome shoe. The hyperspeeds I run in every <laughs> single day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just makes it more enjoyable. Uh, a pleasure. Look at this picture of you winning the world champion. <laughs> Pete Jacobs, you are an Ironman world champion. Awesome to have you here. Congratulations. Thank you Thank very you. much. And I look forward to talking to you again. Uh, you can read Pete's blog by going to PeteJacobs.com and you can follow him on Twitter at PeteJJacobs.